Hey everyone, Simon here. We are in Assassin's Creed Revelations and we are looking at architecture. So today, I believe we should look at the uh, churches and mosques around the city. Well, let's go with the database and uh, we will do what the database tells us. So the database, locations, churches, Hagia Irene we've looked at, the Rose Mosque. Uh, let's go find the Rose Mosque before we read about it. Let's see, where is the uh, where is the Rose Mosque? Uh, I might have a bit of trouble finding these things. This is Little Hagia Sophia, that's not it. That's the market. Um, that's not it. Neither is that. Neither is that. Fatih Mosque Column Valence Aqueduct. Huh. I do not seem to be at the bank. I do not seem to be able to find a rose mask. Alright, let's go to our friend Google. Rose mask. Uh, did I spell that wrong? Oh, it's this one. Okay, so it's called a different name. The uh, the mask of the rose. So it's it's one of these ones. That's a bank. Um, uh, one of one of one of these ones. That one, I think, is supposed to be the rose mask. I need to travel over there. What's the fastest way to get there? We want to go into that tunnel entrance and come out of that tunnel entrance, right? Okay, let's, let's see if I can get there without getting lost. Uh, let's run this way. As you might imagine, there's a number of mosques in the city. So we'll see how long it takes for us to look at all of them. Where was that tunnel entrance? Uh, you okay, it's to the west. No, go away. Alright, the Rose Mosque, or the tunnel entrance rather. The tunnel entrance should be further along. Okay, here. Here? Well, here's the, the Hippodrome. And we want to be going there, Fatih Kami, or the other one. Well, it's close enough, I guess. We'll come back later, because this is the Fatih Mosque, which is yet another one we want to look at. A lot of Janissary is standing around, though. Might have to um, kill them off before we look at this one. Anyway, we'll, we'll be back. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Ah, uh, there's a Janissary camp. That's not cool. Let's go around this camp. And then... Down here... You can see the minaret behind the buildings. There it is. So that is the Rose Mosque, maybe? Does it look like the one in uh, Wikipedia? Hmm. Alright, so it's a fairly standard... I mean, you can kind of see the, the Byzantine influences in the architecture. I mean, as, as you kind of look at these buildings, and you look at the timeline of these buildings, you can see how like the transition from Byzantine to Islamic architecture. That's a bit odd there. What on earth is that about? Look at this. This half an arch there. Sloppy. Alright, let's see what the game says about it. Database, locations... Uh, the Rose Mosque. Originally named Hagia Theodosia for a woman martyred during a brief but violent period of orthodox iconoclasm in the 8th century. Rose Mosque or Gao Kami 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 Kami
Kamiai, Kamiai, Go Kamiai, acquired its new name after a tragic, though rather poetic, set of events. On the eve of the final day of the Ottoman siege of Constantinople, legend holds that Emperor Constantine XI and the Orthodox Patriarch of the city held their final vigil here. But they weren't here, they, I thought they were at... Anyway, praying for a miracle to deliver them from almost certain death. When the time came for the Emperor to lead his final defense, many hundreds of people remained in the church, adorning it with rose petals and chanting endless prayers for their safety. The next day the Ottomans broke through the walls and the city fell. When Sultan Mehmed's army reached Hagia Theodosia, they found it littered with rose petals and filled with heavy-hearted citizens. All who had remained were taken prisoner and the church was converted for general military purposes. Some two decades later, the Ottomans repaired the structure for use as a place of worship, calling it Rose Mosque in remembrance of its final days as a Christian church. Oh, that, that sounds rather tame, although everyone was captured. I don't know what happened to them. They were taken prisoner. I don't know what happens when the Ottomans take you prisoner. Alright, so here we go. Go Mosque, Mosque of the Rose in English. Is a former Eastern Orthodox Church in Istanbul, Turkey, converted to a mosque by the Ottomans. So I was talking about how this looks like a fairly like I could see the the Byzantine influences. It basically wasn't a it was a Byzantine building, which got converted into a mosque. So there it is. Interestingly, the minaret's not that tall compared to the rest of the building. Um, let me just walk around a little bit just to check the uh, accuracy. It's not quite the same, is it? Is it? Let me come over to this side. There's a half circle thing there. These two sides are flat. And then the front of it, there's a minaret there. Huh. It's kind of right. Kind of. Oh, no, it's, it's right. No, it's right. It's correct. Alright. The building's correct in the game. <laughs> So the location, the building is located in Istanbul in the district of Fatih, in the neighborhood of Ayakapi, Gate of the Saint. Uh, it lies at the end of the valley which divides the fourth and the fifth hills of Constantinople and from its imposing position it overlooks the Golden Horn. Uh, it is one of the most important religious Byzantine buildings of capital Constantinople, still extant, but its dedication and the date of its construction, which for a long time time appeared certain are now disputed by scholars. It is either identified with the church belonging to the nunnery of St. Theodosia, or with that of the monastery of Church of Christ the Benefactor. Uh, problem with the dedication. The building since uh, Stephen Gerlach visited it in the late 15th century uh, has always been identified with the Church of Hagia Theodosia. Uh, in Toy the Dex Dexiokratos. I, I can't do Greek neither. I can't do many languages to be honest. Uh, at the beginning of the last century, Jules Pag Pagoya? I don't know what language that is to be honest. Is that Italian? Is that French? Uh, identified the building as the Church of Hagia Euphemia in Tor Petrio, built during the reign of Basil I, and brilliantly explained the change in its dedication. I don't know how this helps us understand. So there's a whole bunch of people study the basement, 7th and the first half of the 12th century, or the end of the 11th and the first half of the 12th century. Okay, so nobody knows what it is. Anyway, he excludes the possibility that the Gold Mosque is the building where the body of Hagia Theodosia was brought after the end of the iconoclasm period. Okay, nobody knows where this building came from, apparently. Anyway, history, business period. On January 19, 729, at the very beginning of the iconoclastic persecutions, Emperor Leo III, the Isaurian, ordered the removal of an image of Christ which stood over the Chauke the main gate of the Great Palace of Constantinople. 
While an officer was executing the order, a group of women gathered to prevent the operation and one of them, a nun named Theodosia, let him fall from the ladder. The man died and Theodosia was captured and executed. Huh. After the end of the iconoclasm, Theodosia was recognized as a martyr and a saint, and her body was kept and worshipped in the church of Hagia Euphemia in Torpetrio, in the quarter named uh, Dexiocratiana, after the houses owned here by one Dexiocrates. In uh, the, the church and adjoining monastery were erected by Emperor Basil I at the end of the 9th century. The monastery hosted his four daughters who were all buried in the church. Hagia Euphemia lay near the monastery of Christos Euergetes, whose foundation date is unknown. It is only known that it was restored by Protosebastos, John Comenos, Comen Com Comnemnos, son of Andronikos the first Comnemnos and brother of co-emperor John, who died fighting in the battle of Myriokephalon. Myriokephalon? Myriokephalon. In 1176, uh, on April 12, 1204, during the Fourth Crusade, the Latin fleet gathered in front of the monastery of the Eugetes. You were Gettys before attacking the city. During the Latin Empire, the navy had its anchorage in front of the monastery. So, like there. Um, uh, and the naval port was kept there by Michael VIII Paleologos, also after the restoration of the Byzantine Empire. I don't know how this is relevant to the building itself, though. Many sacred relics kept in the church were looted by the Crusaders, and many still exist in churches throughout Western Europe. All right. The worship of Theodosia grew with time until after the 11th century, the church was named after her. Since the original feast day of Hagia Euphemia occurred on the 30th of May, and that of another Hagia Theodosia, Hagia Theodosia of Tyros occurred on the 29th of May, finally this day became the feast day of Hagia Theodosia he Constantinopolitasa Right Constantinopolitisa uh, Hagia Theodosia became one among the most venerated saints in Constantinople being invoked particularly by the infirm The fame of the saint was increased by the recovery of a deaf mute in 1306 the church is often mentioned by the Russian pilgrims who visited the city in the 14th and the early 15th century, but sometimes is confounded with Christ Eugetes, which, as already said, stood near it. Twice a week a procession took place in the nearby roads. Twice a week? They had a procession twice every week? In that occasion, the relics hosted in the church were carried along, followed by a great crowd of sick people praying for their recovery. That's, a, that's one lively church. Uh, the church is mentioned for the last time on May 28, 1453, on that day, which was the eve both of the saints' feast and also the end of the end of the Byzantine Empire. The Emperor Constantine the Ninth, or the Eleventh, my bad, with the Patriarch, went to pray into the, the church, which was adorned with garlands of roses. Afterward, Constantine left for the last struggle. Many people remained all night in the church, praying for the salvation of the city. On the morning, the Ottoman troops, after entering the city, reached the building, still adorned with flowers, and captured all the people gathered inside, gathering them as prisoners of war. The relics were thrown away, and the body of the saint was cast to the dogs. I don't know if the dogs would eat that body. Like, Wouldn't that body be embalmed and preserved? I, I don't know. Anyway, Ottoman period. After the Ottoman conquest, the basement of the edifice, which in the meantime had fallen into ruin, was used as a, as a naval dockyard. Close to the building, Sehul Islam Mullah Khosrev Mehmed Effendi established a vakif foundation and erected a small mosque and a bath which still exists. That's a really long name. Some years later, in 1490, the ruined church was repaired and converted into a mosque. A minaret was erected between 1566 and 1574 under Selim II. 
by Hassan Pasha, a supplier of the Ottoman navy. Afterwards, the mosque was often named after him. Between 1573 and 1578, during his jo- sojourn in Istanbul, the German preacher Stefan Gerlich uh, visited the mosque, identifying it with the church of Hagia Theodosia. During that century, the mosque saw the prediction of the local holy man Go Baba, uh, which was allegedly buried in the building. It is also possible that the mosque was named after him. I don't know, it seems like a lot of stories that nobody really sh- is sure about, one way or the other. Uh, architecture, let's just move on. Oh look, there's a rug. So that's detail of the apses as viewed from the southeast. The difference in masonry between the surviving Byzantine parts, low, and the later Ottoman additions, high, can be easily noticed. That's fascinating. So it, it is it is half Byzantine, half Ottoman. Apparently the lower half is different from the upper half. Not in the game. In the game they are both exactly the same. Also, from the southeast... From the southeast... Is the church turned around or what? Viewed from the southeast? That's not what it looks like from the southeast. Uh, southeast is is that way. I think they might have turned the church around a little bit. All right, exterior. The building lies on a high vaulted basin, which was which was used also during the Byzantine period only for secular purposes. The masonry of the basement has been built, adopting the technique of the recessed brick, typical of the Byzantine architecture of the middle period. In this technique, alternate courses of brick are mounted behind the line of the wall and are plunged in a mortar bed. Due to that, the thickness of the mortar layers is about three times greater than that of the brick layers. Interesting construction method. Huh. Okay. So there's a lot of mortar and not much brick, apparently. Uh, the building has a cross in square plan, which is oriented northwest southeast. It is 26 meters long and 20 meters wide, and is surmounted by five domes, one above the central nave and four smaller placed on the four corners. The central dome, which has a low external drum and has no windows, is Ottoman, as are the broad pointed arches which carry it. The original dome, akin to that of Kalindahane Mosque, should have been carried by a tall drum pierced by windows. The exterior of the building is quite imposing. On the southeastern facade, the central apse with seven sides and the lateral ones with three sides project boldly outside. The central apse appears to be a later Byzantine reconstruction, since it lacks the four tiers of five niches which feature ornamental brickwork and adorn the lateral ones. Above the niches run a cornice. The style of the side apses resembles strongly that of those of Penco- Pentocrator Church and is a further element in favor of a late dating of the building. Okay. So let me just look at these apses. Apparently there's a main one and two side ones. In the game there's only the main one and even that is... The main one is actually the, the side ones, and the side ones don't exist. What? Okay, this, is, this isn't even close to what the real building looks like. Are you kidding me? There's supposed to be five domes here. Or is, is this supposed to be? No, this is supposed to be the apps. There's supposed to be five domes? What on earth is going on with this thing? Alright, none of this. None of this makes sense. This is definitely not how the real building is supposed to be. Wow, they mangled this one. Completely mangled it. Uh, interior. The interior of the building was plastered and decorated in the 18th century. One enters through a wooden porch, which leads to a low narthex surmounted by a barrel vault. So one enters through a wooden porch, low narthex uh, surmounted by a barrel vault. From there, a triple arcade, triple arcade, uh, leads into the tall nave, which is flanked by galleries forming the side arms of the cross. Galleries, nave, 
They rest on a triple arcade supported by square piers. Triple arcade, square piers. Um, the nave ends with the main asp, that one, which is flanked by two smaller ones. The southeast orientation of the main asp allowed the erection of the mihrab inside it. Okay, that's cool. So, conveniently, uh, it points towards. Uh, actually, w w which city was it again? Damn it! I've, I've, I knew. I know this. So when you when, like the Muslims, they always pray in the direction of. I forgot the name of the city. Damn it! They always pray of Mecca. That's right, Mecca. Mecca. They always pray in the direction of Mecca. So conveniently, the church is orientated towards Mecca. <laughs> so they turn it into a mosque. Each gallery ends with a small chapel, which lies respectively above the prosthesis and diaconicon. Both chapels are surmounted by hemispherical domes, which are built directly above the pendentives. Uh, okay. So the hemispherical domes there. Um, light enters in the buildings through five orders of windows, three belonging to the galleries, some of the windows are Ottoman. Carved inside each of the two eastern dome piers, there is a small chamber. Oh, the these? No, the, these? These. Um, the southeast chamber contains the alleged dome of the Ottoman saint Gobaba. Above the entrance there is a the following inscription in Ottoman Turkish, Tomb of the Apostle, Disciple of Jesus, Peace be with him, which bears witness to the religious syncretism in 16th century Istanbul. The chamber was originally possibly the tomb of Saint Theodosia, a tradition that one of the piers hides the burial place of the last Byzantine emperor was born in the 19th century and is crownless. Alright, there are no Byzantine emperors in here. Uh, okay, well, it is one of the most important cross in the square churches in Istanbul, and this game completely mangled it. Look at this. This is just. This is a mess. Come on, it's not even. The dome's off center. It's not even in the right place. It is the original Ottoman dome, though. I mean, not the Ottoman, the original Byzantine dome. Because the Ottoman one is actually much flatter than that. I don't know, this, this building's a mess. They did not recreate this properly. Alright. So, let's go to the next one. Database, locations, and... Senkato Hiritin Senjakta Is this Turkish? Um, hmm. No one has... Okay. Let me see if I can type that into Wikipedia. Sen... No, okay. Oh, oh, there it is. Does it tell us how to pronounce it? No. I don't know how to pronounce that, to be perfectly honest. Uh, okay, let's see what it says in the game. Oh, actually, where is it? I don't even know where it is. We might have to find a map. I don't think I ever bought it in the game. Um, hmm. Let's type that into Google. Uh, let's just close that one. Google. Paste that there. Google Maps. Um, where are we looking? Oh, there? So, according to that, it would be down, no, 
down here. No, down here. Little Hagia Sophia is down here somewhere. Let me just double check this. So where's the? Wait a minute. That's the arsenal, right? So that would put it out here somewhere. Oh, is is that it? That might be it there. All right, let's go south. Let us run south and see if we can find this building. Run, run, run. Run, Desmond. I wonder why they would have done that to the Rose Mosque. Like, they went to the trouble of making it, but they didn't bother making it the right shape. Would it be too difficult? I hope they didn't just copy and paste all the churches. They might have just copy and pasted all the mosques. I'd be pretty sad if they did that. Let's see what this one looks like. If it's identical to the last one, I'd be pretty sad. Alright, so there's a mineral there. Is that the one we're looking for? No, it's not. This is a different thing. Alright, let's keep running. That is a... wait a minute. What is, what is that building though that we just ran past? This is... This is... can I get a hint? Game? Can you quickly tell me what this is? No? Alright, never mind. Well, it's different from the from the one we were looking at before, so it's not like they just copy and pasted everything. Alright, let's keep running south. And see if this is what we're looking for. Where is it? Over there? Over there. Also not too sure why this is the poor part of town. I don't know if that's accurate. Alright, so there's a there's a thing here. This is copy and pasted from the last one. This is this is a copy and paste, I think. It is. Uh, I'm so sad. Isn't this a copy and paste? It is. Look, the dome is the same. Just come around here. We're missing the semicircle bit, but the semicircle bit was just kind of stuck on the side of the other one anyway, so it's not like the other one was accurate. The rooftop is identical. It's a copy and paste. They copy and pasted the building. So whatever this building is, it's not gonna be accurate anyway. I'm so sad. I'm so sad, guys. Alright, well, let's read about it, and uh, we're not gonna get to see it in the game. Locations... Uh, the Sen... Senjakta? I think the C is supposed to be a J in Turkey. Uh, Senjakta Mosque is one... was one of the... one part of a larger monastery complex. Yes, yeah, so you can see the... the the screenshot there is out in we are in the right place. It was part of a larger monastery complex now demolished. Today it is known as a Majeti, a small mosque. I'm not sure when it was built, but the style appears to be late Byzantine. Or you copied another late Byzantine church, so perhaps something from a from the fourteenth century, the height of the Paleologian dynasty. A very simple structure made of rough brick and simple shapes, it doesn't always appear on many must-see lists, but there is a humble elegance to its construction that is worth seeing. Uh, if you say so. I mean, you say it's worth seeing, but then you just didn't 
you didn't even build it properly. Look at it, it looks nothing like the thing in game. This is ridiculous. Alright, where is the Google? Can I get... No, what, are, what on earth is going on? Can I get images? <laughs> There's the Assassin's Creed one. Except the one in real life. Looks nothing like the one in Assassin's Creed. It looks like this. Actually, is that is that it? Ah, the dome is correct. Nothing else is, though. What a scam. Uh, Sinjakta Heretin Mosque? I probably pronounced that wrong. It's part of a former Eastern Orthodox monastery converted into a mosque by the Ottomans. It is generally believed that the small building belonged to the Byzantine monastery of Gastria. The edifice is a minor example of Paleologan architecture in Constantinople and is important for historical reasons. <laughs> it is important because reasons. There you go. The medieval structure choked by artisan shops lies in Istanbul, in the district of Fatih, in the neighborhood of Ko... I can't read that. Never mind. Uh, about 500 meters north... Okay, I'm not going to bother reading all of those names. I'm just going to mangle the pronunciation anyway. Uh, the origin of the building, which lies on the southern slope of the 7th hill of Constantinople and overlooks the Sea of Mara, is not certain. The, the, the tradition says that in year 325, Helena, the mother of Constantine I, coming back from Jerusalem with the True Cross and entering the city through the uh, Porto Somanthio, left in this place some vases containing aromatic herbs collected on cavalry. Then she founded there a nunnery. In reality, no monastery was established in Constantinople before the last quarter of the 4th century. So this has to be considered only a legend. Alright, so another fake story. Thank you very much, guys. The nunnery of Gastria was first mentioned in the beginning of the 9th century. At that time, Theo... Theotista? mother of Empress Theodora, wife of Emperor Theophilos and restorer of the cult of the icons, bought in the quarter of Samantha a house from the patrician Nesitas, possibly saying Nesitas the patrician, and established there a nunnery. The title of Te Torissa, foundress, Together with the property of the buildings was inherited by her daughter Theodora, together with her daughters Anna, Anastasia, and Pocheria. Theodora was removed to the monastery by her brother Bardas after her deposition in five in eight fifty six. All of them were forced to accept the tonsure. The tenth century Emperor Constantine the seventh Porphyrogenitus writes in his book *De Ceremonies* that the Church of the Nunnery served also as a mausoleum for the members of the Theodora family. The Empress, her brother Petronas, her mother, and her three daughters were all buried there. The last mention of Gastria before 1453 comes from a Russian pilgrim who visited the city during the second quarter of the 15th century. He remembers a nunnery placed near the Golden Gate, where the relics of Saint Euphemia and Saint Eudokia were venerated. This building could well be identified with Gastria. <laughs> oh, could be. Nobody knows, but it could be. Okay, more speculation, thank you. Shortly after the fall of Constantinople, Heyeretin Effendi, uh, Saint Jenkpa, the standard bearer of Sultan Mehmed II, converted the building into a masjid, an oratory, and was buried there. The charter for this religious foundation has not survived. The 1894 Istanbul earthquake, which has its epicenter near the, under the Sea of Mamara, partially destroyed the mosque, which was restored only between 1973 and 1976. So uh, nobody really cares that much about it, although it has been restored, eventually. Uh, description. Due to its small dimension, the building cannot be identified with the Church of the Nunnery, but rather a mat martyrion, burial chapel, or mausoleum, 
which can be dated to the Paleologan period of the 14th century. The building had the shape of an irregular octagon with a cross-shaped interior and an S oriented towards the east. Light penetrates into the building through windows opened on alternate sides which illuminates the arms of the cross-shaped interior, none of which we can see in the game, because the game completely mangled this building. Each window is inside a blind arch which spans the whole side. Each window is inside, so the blind arch spans the entire side and inside each one is a window. The masonry uses alternate courses of brick and ashlar, giving the exterior the polychromy typical of the Paleologan period. Remnants of war still re present in the northwest and south sides before the restoration shows that the building was not isolated but connected with other edifices. A minaret has also been added to the restored building. Alright, so there's kind of like arches and then windows inside them and so on and so forth. But uh, no, the one in the game looks nothing like that. The one in the game looks nothing like the real thing. It's so disappointing. They just copy and paste. It's just so disappointing. Do you think... Did they, uh, they probably just figured that nobody would notice, right? They figure like, who, who would do that? Who would go to Wikipedia and look up all these buildings, right? Who does that? Well, I do. There you go, Ubisoft. I did it, and I'm calling you out. Alright, let's go to the next one. So we got that one. Finari Isa Mosque? Finari Isa Mosque. Alright, let's go look this up. Finari Isa Mosque. Did I spell that right? Oh, I did. Formerly the Church of St. John the Baptist. Uh, I need to know where it is though. Finari Isa Mosque. Let me copy and paste into Google and get some maps going on. Ah, uh, zoom out, zoom out. Okay, it's oh, it's probably the one we ran past earlier. Finari Isa Mosque. Except that one didn't really look like. Um, what? <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll try to find it in game. We'll try to find it in game. The one in the game looks like that image in the game. Doesn't really. Is that it? No, it's from the ox. That's a column. That's a mosque. Is it. It can't be that one because it's too close. Is there a mosque like there? I think it's that one, guys. Because there's the river there, right? And then there's the mosque. Let me just double check this map. Uh, close this. Can I get like a... Satel no, satellite? Oh, a satellite. So the river... Actually, the river's not here. I can't even see the river. I think it's right. I think it's that one. Alright, let's let's try and go there. Set remove let's set a marker there. And see if that's the right one. And nobody does this. Probably nobody does what I'm doing right now. Go and look up the real buildings. Should I write a letter to Ubisoft to call them out? Because the thing is, if nobody cares, if nobody if nobody calls them out on it, then I mean, if you're Ubisoft, what what are you gonna think? Is that like, well, we put in absolute bullcrap and nobody noticed, so you know why bother making historically accurate cities if nobody's gonna notice anyway? You know what I mean? Like you know, if nobody cares, then then it's like oh, I don't. You know, why, why should we spend an extra five hours to make this unique building? 
if nobody notices. And you can't, I mean, you can't really blame them for, for making that decision in that case, because nobody cares. So maybe I should write an angry email and tell them, I care, guys. I care about architecture. I should tell them that. I don't know. I don't know. Can I like, should I start a petition? And I'll get like the, the six viewers who's gonna watch this video to join my petition to Ubisoft. I don't know.